great team won today. Um, you know, we didn't play the our best football. Or, or, you know, I say we didn't play Carolina Panther football. And early on, uh, you know, we started out with unbelievable field position with the interception. And, uh, you know, we, and a great punt return. We just couldn't seem to get it going early. Um, if we expect to, you know, continue to win games, I think that's going to be one of the main things that we have to work on. You know, with me looking back at this game right now um, and just giving myself um, analysis of the whole, whole, whole overall team uh, win. No, no. Which one? No, yeah, I, I bit my tongue. First play, I'm talking right. Yeah, I bit my tongue, um, and it, it was it was numb for a minute. But you know, it didn't have any effect on me. You know, as far as gameplay, I wanted to make sure my tongue was still intact. That's probably the the, the, the most important thing uh, because I was, you know, off topic. I was reading about horror stories in football. And a guy swallowed his tongue. Yeah. So uh, I didn't want that to happen. I had to, you know, feel around for it for a minute and felt it. So I was good. On that topic, might you start wearing a mouth guard or do you like the ability to? I, you you got to expect, you know, things like that. Um, you know, I, I, I'm, not, I'm not fond of, of wearing a mouthpiece. And uh, hopefully my mom is not listening to this uh, because she always say you only get one set of teeth. Uh, but, you know, I, I, I just, I get cotton mouth a lot, you know, wearing a mouthpiece, especially doing as much talking as I do, just calling the plays or whatnot. Uh, so, you know, I, I, I chew gum. So, uh, you know, it's something I need to look at if, if it continues to have a problem. But, you know, as far as my decision, it, it will not affect Two big touchdown plays, a fourth and one, uh, and then the fourth and ten, of course, on the last drive. Right. Um, you know, I just, the fourth and one is expected. You know, I think the media started calling Coach uh, Rivera Riverboat Run, you know, me doing my um, homework on it, you know, um, and, and we expect that, uh, him, to, him to have trust in us, and we have to deliver as an offense. But on the fourth and ten, it's just, you know, age and 89 doing what he does the best. You know, he's been doing that his whole career, uh, making big, big, outstanding catches when we need it. He made a play and, and still had, had some yards after the catch as well, which lifted our morale, you know, and got us out of funk. And the two-minute drive, you guys, you only have one time out here, obviously not using it until you actually have 10, but the Dolphins are using some timeouts. How, how, uh, how much does that benefit? Um, I think, you know, after that fourth and 10, um, you know, it, you kind of felt the momentum drift, you know, in favor of us. You know, that's what we wanted. We had the momentum early in the game, you know, with the interception and, and the great field position on the punt, and we couldn't just seem to get it. Um, even though we had an unbelievable drive coming out at halftime, and we just seen, we, we just couldn't get it. And uh, I think that's when the tide really, you know, kind of shifted in, in, in our favor. Um, and we're going to continuously have those type of impact plays to, to keep boosting us uh, in this season. Can't talk about the first half. It looked like you really did have trouble getting on the offensive rhythm. What was going on with um, You know, it just... A credit to, you know, a great defense that we were playing. Kevin, Cameron Wake, you know, those guys and the defensive line was playing exceptionally well. Um, I, I, I can't just hang the ball up in the middle of the field like that uh, and not expect for a good thing to happen. You know, it didn't. Got an interception with the overlapping corner. Um, but, you know, we played a good defense on the road, hostile environment, uh, and, and it's, 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 it's great to see your guys and myself respond um, you know with the with the play that we, we put together in the first half which is not our type or our caliber of play especially in these last couple of weeks uh, that we hold ourselves to a standard to play at uh, we came out in the second half made uh, you know our adjustments and you know guys just made plays you know, the end of the first half you guys, well, uh, that was a big play. That was ex extremely big play for us, you know, just to get some points. In a stingy game like this, you know, when you when you lack momentum and you just fiend for some type of play or, or something to, to, to get us going. You know, we got some points right before the halftime. 
that 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 really encouraged us in, in halftime. You know, to 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 keep going. Uh, as a heads up, savvy savvy play by uh, you know Brandon LaFell having the the, the know how to you know find the clock and and uh, you know go out of bounds with time enough for you know uh, Gano to come on and kick a much needed. Uh, How much did your success in the game winning drive Monday night play into your time? Nothing from Monday night lingered over into this game. It was just, it's a new game, new team, new defense, uh, new philosophy, uh, new game plan. Uh, for us, you know, we're going to, uh, you know, celebrate this win right now, and we're going to get prepared for, you know, Tampa Bay. You know, when we get prepared for Tampa Bay, it's nothing from this game that we're going to linger over or carry over to that game. You know, each game is different. Uh, the things that we go into it from the crowd to, you know, injuries to everything plays a key part of our preparation, and that's what we'll do. Cam Newton, the Panthers.